Welcome to the first Train Simulator 2 video on my channel. As I mentioned in my last video, I um, want to make a few changes on the channel. First one is that I changed the channel from complete to English, so you won't see any German videos here anymore. And the Train Simulator 2 videos, I won't make any basic driving videos here. I want to make some something special. So what I want to make is videos about features of the trains that are really special like additional safety systems or details here not find that easy this video and all the other trains two videos on the channel will be split in three parts first is what is the sense of this feature second is how it works and a bit of history about it and third is a short tutorial how you can activate it in trains two this video will be all about the alerter safety system. This is a dead man system, so you have to press a button every 60 to 120 seconds. And when you don't press it in that time, the train will automatically apply an emergency brake. So, why would you need this system? It's really important for railway safety when the driver is sleeping but the train is still driving and it won't stop without the alert system. This is really really bad because it can crash into other trains or derail in worst cases. But how can a train stop completely automatically? Well, there's a timer programmed in the software of a train and when that timer reaches zero, the software takes control over the train and applies an emergency brake instantly. But the system is not only based on a timer, the train speed also plays a big role because when you're driving faster, the train needs a longer time to stop. So the faster you get, the lower the reset time of the timer is. For example, when you're driving 20 miles per hour, the timer starts at 120 seconds. So you have 120 seconds before you have to press the alert button. But when you're driving at 50 miles per hour, you only have 60 seconds. The first versions of this system were already used in the 1960s, but in 2007, the AAR locomotive alerter requirements got released and from then all freight trains in the US needed this same alerter system. That means that there has to be a visual and audio alert when the timer runs out or is about to run out. Then that the timer resets when you do something in the train like apply throttle or the brakes or activate the lights or something and that the timer gets less when you're gaining speed. Okay, with that we come to the last part of the video, how you can activate the system in the trains. So in the DB48-2 and in the SD40, there is a little closet called fuses on the back wall. You have to open it and then you find the switch called warning devices in the right bottom which is normally deactivated, but to activate the alert assist you have to activate it and then when you sit on the driver's seat you see a warning symbol on the right side of the HUD. To activate the system in the AC 4400CW you have to press shift plus enter. I couldn't find any switch in the train, I looked everything but I couldn't find something similar to this fuse's closet in the other trains. And then a red box on the screen or on the screens should appear with a text alert zero. And once you start driving above 2 miles per hour, the counter will start. Okay, now with that we are on the end of the video. I hope it wasn't too chaotic and you understood something. I don't know if I will make future videos with my voice. It depends on what you say. So if you like it, if you don't find it too boring, I'll continue with it. Just see this as a little testing video. Okay then, bye. Prepare to die.